special edition of the Phantom Zone today. We got early access passes to go see Infinity War way early. And this is our very spoiler review of it. So if you don't want to be spoiled, please turn this show off. But it's a very short episode, so I advise you probably listen, because it's totally not a joke at all. 100% legit, sincere. I'm not lying or anything. Anyway, no, what was everybody's favorite yes. part? Oh, um, the moon. I like that part, the part with the moon that we all saw uh, in the trailers. I really like when uh, Thanos killed Danny Rand by flicking him in the forehead. That yeah, was really good. That was real good. Yeah. Really? That was my favorite I was... part. Oh, go ahead, Hunter. Go ahead. I really liked when Black Panther uh, took off his mask and he turned white for a second. That was really weird. Oh my god, it was so such startling. A, such that was a strange choice. choice. Yeah. yeah. I, I will applaud Marvel for uh, taking a very strong, positive stance for the uh, LGBTQ community by making Thanos transgender. That was, it was, that was uh, an interesting choice, yes. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, people have been complaining about their representation of women, and I think they might have swung a little bit too far, but good on them anyways. Uh, I could not believe that the six, that the Soul Stone was actually, um, god damn it, what's his name? Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar? Lamar? There we go. Kendrick Lamar was the actual Soul Stone. Dude, how could you he up, I don't know. I do it all the time. He showed up in the movie, popped out of the stone. Uh, he sang the entirety of uh, uh, all the stars are closer yep. and Thanos died. No. He's I saying really it's to Thanos. That's that's who he's talking to in the song. Thanos right. dropped to his knees and started sobbing. Uh, and then the movie and the credits rolled. Well, I'm that's. Really, I mean, I'm really thankful that uh, Sony gave us these passes, though, right? Yeah. Sony, yeah. Sony heard the show yeah. and they were really impressed. Sony. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. almost well, like I they mean, sponsored it's... the show from now on, and that they are our corporate sponsors and control everything. Yeah. Guys, well, Amazing Spider-Man 2 is my favorite film of all time. I was just going to tell you how good it is. I just finished rewatching it for like the third time today. It's my favorite movie in the Citadel. It's a, movie. it's a great film. Sony showed us a deleted scene with Doc Ock. It's my favorite thing ever. I really love it. They sh- they showed us the entirety of the lost teaser for the Sinister Six. I can't believe we didn't get that movie. Yeah. I know. Wow. It's such a shame. In fact... It's been added to this movie as the post credit stick. <laughs> uh, we're getting Sony and Marvel Sinister Six uh, in 2021. Yep. It was weird when Venom showed up. That was that felt mm-hmm. weird. Yeah. Uh, Strangest thing, and it totally wasn't Tom Hardy either. It no. Was over yeah. Again. Um, but this time he was huge. Uh, I don't know what he's been doing. It looks Probably like he not. ate Tom Hardy. He sounded like Topher Grace, which was a weird, uh, again, a weird choice. Like, hey, Thanos, I'm gonna kill your girlfriend. Well, I think I think one of the uh, bigger surprises too. It, I mean, it was a cameo. I don't know if you guys caught it, but uh, there was one point where, uh, if you remember, when Thanos was destroying that one area of Wakanda, you saw Amy Pascal throwing a sandwich <laughs> at someone. I was I was kind of surprised her part that, that... Four, she was contributing. Yeah, yeah well, it just yeah. it was surprising. Telling Thanos to get the fuck out. Yeah, yeah. 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 But she was half joking. After she died, Frank the Tank mourned her death. Uh, so, it was, so uh, yeah, that was uh, that was strange. Uh, also, it wasn't it wasn't like a fully realized CG tank with John Bernthal's head. It was just my Photoshop macro, which was just, it was just a very strange choice. But I liked it, obviously. And there well, they did say they were big fans of, of our show, right? There wasn't any real ballistic sound effects. You showed up and went pew pew, and uh, big giant tanks. Uh, you know, <laughs> Tank shells kept firing out of his mouth. Yeah. 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 Also, a lot of that trailer is, is bogus because a lot of those things don't happen. As a matter of fact, um, the entire Justice League appears <laughs> to assist the Avengers in the fight against Thanos. Uh, Steppenwolf does show up, but he's immediately destroyed uh, by Ant-Man. Well, the biggest thing, too, was uh, Namor actually showed up, if you remember. Like, yeah! He had, that, he had that very crucial scene where uh, he actually sold out Wakanda, and uh, that was part of the reason why really Thanos weird. was there. Had, it was really weird. He had that uh, Paramount executive back with his leg. Oh, yeah, that skeleton. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they invaded the closet at Warner Brothers. It was a real... It was an interesting <laughs> side plot. Um, and I don't know what it meant, exactly. So, yeah. 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 It was interesting. The soundtrack was good. I liked that a lot. Uh, yeah, they brought Danny Elfman back in, actually, to uh, right. he, he used all the old uh, 90s Marvel themes for everything. Yep. The Spider-Man TV show, the old Iron Man. Was there an Iron Man? Yeah, sure, there yeah, was. there was. In this yeah. Show, yeah. Was. Well, it and was, then, it was and also... For some reason, for some reason, every time Thanos is on screen, he played his old Batman theme. <laughs> 
for reasons. Well, I I thought it was pretty great too that uh, Kill Switch and Gage got to be on the soundtrack to this uh, <laughs> yeah, new movie. <laughs> yeah, it was weird when Kid Rock showed up and he played his classic <laughs> "Ba What a Ba." Uh, that was a, that was an interesting. Yeah, choice. I'm very partial to when uh, the Wakandan army finally stood up and they started winning the fight, and Skindred started to play. Uh, <laughs> I also really like the part where Black Panther beat the shit out of Ted Nugent. That was really <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And uh, you can guess what was playing. Uh... What it was Leonard Skinner in the background, wasn't it? Yes. Uh... <laughs> uh, uh... And the X Men showed up, and everybody stopped, turned, and said, "Leave," and they did. Uh, and they made the fight, and they went back to their Fox movies, and was never spoken of again. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, Michael B. Jordan's uh, uh, Human Torch showed up, and everybody just got very confused. Uh, it was just... <laughs> Everyone kept calling him Killmonger. Dude. Yeah. Specifically, also, Captain America, he was very confused. Mm-hmm. Really weird that the movie was five hours long. This movie's it's, it's gargantuan in length. And those teasers, man, they show you nothing. They really no. don't. It's, it's man, a but, real misleading thing let's there. Let's talk about who died. <laughs> Oh yeah, a fucking. I, uh, who didn't? I can't believe Pepper Potts was killed by uh, uh what's his face, uh, Ebony. What the, what's Ebony his name? Ma. Ebony Maw. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. And, can't believe that and, happened. And I so violently Natalie too. It's just to die. It's weird. Thanos captured all of the girlfriends, <laughs> 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 and then he turned them all into dust at the same time. Uh, so that was a, well, that was an interesting choice. They fun, they finally been written out of the universe. It seems. Right. The thing I was shocked at, too, I mean, I know they haven't really talked about what the rating for this was going to be, but, I mean, this is going to be a hard R, guys. Like, the mm-hmm. point where, where they cannibal Ferox Natalie Portman's character, <laughs> like, I was shocked. I was shocked that they would do that in a Marvel movie. But, I, you know, who are we to say? But Marvel's evolving, you know? Yeah, they, they're, they're growing up. They're like the Harry Potter movies. They're growing up with us. that one. <laughs> yeah, the weirdest part was when the TARDIS showed up. That's when things really got crazy. Um, yeah, yeah, that was a that was pretty, it was a, it's an actually insane movie. Uh, yeah. I, I we didn't talk about the 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 mind blowing ending. Actually, uh, the, all this fighting happening, and it actually it's so intense it rips a hole in the universe. And a Star Destroyer came soaring through. Uh, Kylo Ren jumped God off in front it. of it. Um, he cut the Hulk in half. And then it said, to be continued, Avengers versus Star Wars. Yep. And then a post credit she- scene showed that the uh, on board the Star Destroyer was um, uh, Khan. Uh, again, played by Benedict <laughs> Cumberbatch. Very oh, strange. Man. Very confusing. Fuck. <laughs> And in the corner of the Star Destroyer, Patton Oswalt was cheering to himself because now his dream has finally been realized. <laughs> the pitch from Parks and Rec was not a uh, joke. It was dead here. Speaking of things that are a joke, though, if people can't tell by now. This has I mean, been no, 100% nonsense if you haven't put it together already. Right. I mean, it only totally exists real. because people's day is tomorrow as of this recording. Um and we felt like giving you guys something that was ultimately meaningless, but in good fun. So yeah, <laughs> I'm very proud of myself for coming up with cannibal ferox as a verb. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm actually going to be real disappointed if Black Panther doesn't beat the shit out of uh, Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent. <laughs> it's it's really... As disappointed as I was when I ended up going to Wonder Woman, and it wasn't just her kicking males in the nuts set to that badass cello solo. Yes. Yeah. Over again. Lady. I think I would have enjoyed Wonder Woman more if it was that. <laughs> After all those people complained, I was just hoping that's what it was. It's it's uh, just her punching Richard Spencer. Um, that would be. Mm-hmm. Oh man! But yes. the drums, the drums are just like the sound of like just a uh, just knuckles meeting face, mm-hmm. just over and over again. <laughs> Oh no! I would I would say the light sound of uh, testicle skin banging against his thighs as she punches him. Uh, in the uh, <laughs> yes, paint uh, a word picture for okay. my podcast I, friends. I think we're done now. I think this. 
<laughs> yeah, this has been your uh, ten minute review of uh, <laughs> Avengers uh, with Four, the... Four Infinity War. That's it. Yeah. Um, maybe next year we'll have something a little more high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll come up with like a story and a plot and something like that. Maybe we'll convert the page into something else entirely for a day. Maybe. Can we get away with that? Do you think people catch on too quickly? Maybe. I think so, yeah. 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 I don't know. I I I don't know though. I think people would still post the same stuff and be like, "Hey guys, something's wrong with the header." <laughs> yeah. I mean, we could yeah. change it to like, I don't know, like I don't the the bunny zone or something like that. Next year, next year, <laughs> you know, becomes... you know, you got a good April Fool's joke when you're discussing it on a podcast live, where everyone else can hear it. Yep. Yeah, true. <laughs> next year, look out for the Sony Zone. Oh <laughs> no! Eh, coming at you, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's a year away. That should be it for this little thing. All right, goodbye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>